You're all right, people. Um, just a little shed update on uh, some new things I've had in to work on. Um, shed's plastered, honestly. <laughs> I've, I've literally got a foot, like uh, probably a two foot square to stand in, um, and the other shed's full as well. So I'm gonna have to uh, sort some out. <laughs> this here, this thing. Can you see it there? Yeah, that's actually a stall that's on the workbench because there's no space on the floor to put it. <laughs> oh well, let me show you what I got. I got yesterday. Um, I got given three mowers, um, all of them for nothing, just have them. Now, one of them starts up and runs like a dream, um, but it's a bit tight. The wheels are a bit tight because it, they've all been stored in a shed for years. Um, so I'll take the wheels off that one, but it runs sweet as a dream. Uh, it cuts grass fine, height adjusters work and everything like that. So I'm pleased with that one because that one's nice ma. It's a Honda. You know what I'm like with my Hondas. So let me uh, give you a quick look at what I've got. Here's the shed, mower there, there's my stall, there's that Westwood, I like that one, a Suffolk Punch 14S under there with the Scarifier cartridge, there's my oven, that one I've got to sort the blade out on, that was the Ryobi I did, um, I've just got stuff everywhere but let's have a look at what what, what i was given yesterday you give me that for nothing um and like i say it's all there but it's been stored in a shed you can see the state of it like. um it needs a good strip down and greasing oiling and all that jazz so that's not a problem get on with that one the next one's pretty shocking but it's not as bad as it looks <coughs> That's the worst part of it. Um, once I'll get a new one of them, repaint it, strip all the carb down, give that a clean. Um, it's all there. The bar that goes across the front, that's there. It, that should come up alright actually. I'm looking forward to playing about with that one. This one round there. Now this one, I'm looking forward to sorting out. The handles on there. I've got the grass box for it as well. So get back in the shed. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, not bad really for now. Like I said, the Honda, just a strip down clean. Um, the 14S, the red one out there, that needs quite a bit of work doing on it, which I'm pleased about really because it gives me something to do over the winter. Um, and the the ransom. Um, that's quite a nice mower actually. It doesn't, it doesn't look much but uh, they fetch a pretty penny though if they're all, all up and running. Um, the rollers go round fine. Uh, the blade's a bit jammed up so I'm going to have to get, get, do a complete strip down on that one but it will be worth every minute and I'm looking forward to it. So uh, I think the next video you'll see will probably be me stripping that under there because <laughs> The air filter looks like it's alive, but it starts, it runs, it's great, recoil works. But he said the ransom had been sat under a tree, not in a shed, for 12 years to his knowledge. So I'm surprised it's in that condition, I would have thought. But, but you know, it was where well, I had to dig it out from, like, wow. The red one was in a shed. And the reason why the top went like that was because there's a hole in the roof, right above that bit where it's rusted out. But like I said, once I take all that off and jet wash it all, take the carb off, give it all a good clean, wire all the engine down like and everything, it should should be alright. I should be able to get that going. So uh, I'll catch you with some interesting projects soon. So thanks for watching. Bye now.